Well over a year ago, Daisy Ridley denied that Rey is a Mary Sue, and she did so using arguments that revealed she doesn't know what a Mary Sue is. More than a year has passed, and now Daisy chimes in again, so is she any wiser this time around? I don't buy the Mary Sue thing anyway. I found the I find, I find the term sexist in itself okay. because it's Mary Sue. Oh. I don't think there's a thing called Ryan Craig. <laughs> um, she says that the term is sexist because there is no male counterpart. Only, there is a male counterpart called a Gary Stu. It doesn't matter if the character is female. Wesley Crusher from Star Trek is a classic Gary Stu. Don't you think you're overreacting a little? No. Don't talk back to me. Okay, I won't. Then she says... When I was doing it, it I never felt sure of... Like, playing her, I never felt sure of what was going on. Okay. It wasn't like, this is happening and I'm so powerful and look at me go. And essentially, all I found Ray trying to do in the first one was she was trying to do the right thing. Like, she was trying to help BB-8, and then she was trying to help Finn, and now she's trying to help the Resistance. But being selfless is part of a Mary Sue's perfection. While the other characters have complex motivations, the Mary Sue just wants to do the right thing, because she is so pure and good. So Daisy Ridley is actually arguing that Ray is a Mary Sue. It's not a sort of self-centered power that she's just exhibiting. Ooh, Ray is modest, but that's also part of the selflessness and perfection of a Mary Sue. All in all, Daisy Ridley gives three arguments for why Ray is not a Mary Sue. The first is wrong. Men can also be Mary Sues. And the other two illustrate that Ray is a Mary Sue rather than arguing against it. It's really very simple. If someone is an overpowered, perfectly good character with no explanation given for that power level, then he or she is a Mary Sue. That description fits Ray to a T. And ironically, Daisy Ridley tries to deny this by listing only positive qualities Ray has. Or to be more precise, many of the greatest and best loved fictional characters of all time have been all good and selfless the way Ray is because such traits are sympathetic to most people. But what makes a Mary Sue stand out is that Mary Sues are only these traits. Perfect 2D characters who don't have much personality beyond their heroine traits and hyper-competent powers. Mary Sues don't feel real. They feel like the author's personal wish fulfillment or like someone is using cheat codes in a computer game and that's why they pull us out of the story. As I said in another video, I actually liked her performance in that movie. Ridley is an actor, not a writer. She isn't responsible for the way her character was written, but when she goes out and says that there are no male variant of the Mary Sue after more than a year of being criticised for her poor understanding of the term, we must conclude that she is either lying or too lazy to familiarise herself with the concept she is talking about. She could have kept quiet and let people who enjoy Mary Sues have their fun, or she could have admitted the obvious truth that Ray is a Mary Sue. Instead, we get misleading and fallacious arguments for a second time in a row, and frankly, the fans deserve better than that.